quick, graph y equals e to the x minus 3 by hand, two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. First way is we're going to use the e to the x dance. y equals e to the x has an asymptote at y equals 0, or the x-axis. But because of the minus 3, the asymptote will be at y equals negative 3. And because of the minus 3, the new origin, we'll call it, is now at 0, negative 3, which is in orange. And all points will be plotted relative to this new origin. The initial point, write 0 up 1, because e to the 0 power is 1. Write 1 up 2.7, e to the first power is approximately 2.7. And write 2 up 7.4, e squared is about 7.4. Left 1 up 0 0.4, the reciprocal of e is about 0 0.4. And left 2 up 0 0.14, e to the negative 2 is approximately 0 0.14. We can go ahead and connect the points because we already have the asymptote, asymptote drawn in. And then we'll also compare that to the parent function, y equals e to the x. And from these two points, you can see from blue to green, it's down 3. These two points are 3 units apart. And so are these, as all points are 3 units apart. Second way, using a table, we'll use this table as our 5 points that we normally would have in y equals e to the x. Again, we'll subtract 3 from each of the y coordinates. So starting here, 7.4 minus 3 is 4.4. And so we'll plot 2 comma 4.4. Subtracting 3 there, we get 1 comma negative 0 0.3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, 0 negative 2. 0.4 minus 3 is negative 2.6, so negative 1 comma negative 2.6. And finally, negative 2 comma negative 2.86. We'll draw on the asymptote. Again, in this case, it's going to be at y equals negative 3. All points are shifted down 3 units. Connecting the points to make it look like the exponential function, this is what we get. And again, just to compare it to the parent function.